Hi folks, in today's video today I'm going to show you how to use a piping. You can see here that I prepared some small assembly and first of all it's necessary to create a line stock. You can create line stock and if you all read from the file. So over here is the example that if you create a new line stock you need to select the correct name and fill all necessary information for line stock. For example, stock number, used material, you can choose the section what you can use, rectangular or circular, and then you can select if it will be straight or flexible and predefine which of this preselection will be definite. Over here you can see that it is necessary or it is possible to set up the meter cut for example and then specify the value. What does it mean? I will show you again later. So we can confirm or cancel and for example I create for me two piping data, two line stock and if I will open this file the system will read it. You can edit it and for example choose the pipe fee 15 and check or change some value. These value are applied only for this assembly so in the future you can choose the same line stock and a little bit modified. And again, if you select the second one, you can see that I don't want to use the fitting, for example, only bands, but as flexible, for example, again, because I'd like to show you where is the possible to change it. If you come from OK, you can create a new pipe and specify the name. This name is again used only this assembly and specify the line stock. So Select the line stock what you would like to use and on the left corner you can see what you choose and some environment preferences for the pipes. Always if you create a piping, many times you need to select for example set start and the system asks you for the first pipe select set start and select the port coordinate system. In environment is necessary for the next feature selected has to be line shape has to be straight and then you can choose the predefined radius from the line stock yeah so if you select ah, not set start i like to use the feature extent so if you select the extent you can extend existing point and specify the value if you specify for example 100 millimeters the system will create first shape of the pipe and then you can continue with apply button and specify some offset, offset value. Yep. And then to continue to honor the dimensions or add on the sides, so for example, base it on the Z value. But over here, I'd like to use the function along coordinate system and up to selected re references. So you can see from the drop down menu, is the possible to select offset reference plane, for example. And I use the offset reference plane. The system calculate existing value, but I like to use the zero. It will be not offset. It will be automatically up to this value because it's a zero offset from selected references. And then I'd like to show you in this example how to use the follow function. Yeah. So if I will select function follow, not follow the pipeline. Yeah, be careful. Over here is the example that if you miss something, you have to be careful what you chose. So be careful from drop down menu, select the follow uh, axis, for example. Yeah, over here is in this example, follow axis. And the system will create for you part of the pipes. Yeah, if you would like to see what the system creates, then you can use the display thick thickness pipe and the system will show you the pre-highlight or pre-selection how it will be looks and then the function connect the system automatically connect to selected point for selection use the control button from the keyboard and again I like to continue on opposite side but first of all I will create the follow us curve or follow curve again you can use the first segment of the curve shift button and then the system will select for you curve chain and if you come from ok again you can have a look how it will how it look you create a pipe but it's not connected 
So use the function connect that with control button again, select first point, control second point, and the system automatically creates the pipes and predefined radius for the pipe. It's, you can change it anytime in environment or again in the next video I will show you how to change these values. Another follow function is follow sketch. So I will create a new sketch. So we need to define new sketch and select the sketch plane and orientation plane. Yeah. You need to select the sketch references because it's a standard sketch. And then for example, starting point. Yeah. And you can orient it to 2D and create some lines and continue yeah, from straight line, for example, and some special shape. It doesn't matter what you will create. Over is the only example that I will select another reference for port 2 because I'd like to follow or connect in the next feature to port 2 with this sketch. Great. If you would like to divide the existing line, you can use the divide function and then you can delete segment and the system automatically cut unwanted line and then change dimensions how you want. It's standard sketch, but in the future the system will know that this is a pipe. Okay, finish the sketch and come from OK for follow sketch. You can see again the system creates for you really nice shape of the pipe. Yeah, right now looks good. And the last feature I'd like to connect to second battle bottle, sorry. And I will use the port and existing line. Okay. And we would like to create a second pipe. If we would like to create second pipe, we will select the function create pipe. Yeah. And select again new name. So for example, P2. And choose the line stock what you would like to use. I will use the same one. Check environment because you know that it has to be striped. And then we starting with Set start, select coordinate system, and then use function extend. You can use the arrow, you can change the value, no problem, 75, for example, OK. And then we will use the follow pipeline. Yeah, so last feature from the follow is the follow pipeline and it's necessary to select from where you would like to start and end. So with control button, select start pipeline and end end segment and then is necessary to select star references and you can see the system will create really nice shape of the second pipe too and what does it mean if we will change the value for example of the first one we will change it but first of all I'd like to show you that you can see the pipeline view in the model tree yeah you can really easily recognize that you have a pipe 1 and pipe 2 or you can choose this three filter settings and you would like to see the features in model 3 and if you come from OK the system will show you all features what have been created based on the piping. So the first extent I'd like to change select and regenerate Control G yep. and then really easy you can change the second extend from the p2 so go to model tree find the p2 pipe 2 and extend and change value for example 100 and if you regenerate you have created your assembly you can continue with modification and creation and you can use the extend or the follow or connection between pipes but I'd like to show you at the end how to create the solid geometry for the pipe and over here is necessary to use the function pipe solid you can see in the new window that we have created two pipes 
pipe 1 and pipe 2, you select these two pipes and make. And the system will create for you 3D models of the pipes. That's all. Next, goodbye. Bye.